I'm here at Pechanga, out here in Temecula, California, and today is a great day for the Oak Grove Institute, and I'm here with a young lady who's uh, got a lot on her hands today. What's your name? Tammy Wilson. What do you do, Tammy? I'm the CEO at Oak Grove Center, and I'm so excited that this is our ninth annual Oak Grove Golf Classic. All right, and so what's basically what's going down today? Well, we've got a full course, 144 players, and um, there is, it looks like a great day. They're golfing, but they're supporting our cause, which is our sports program, and we are also building a gym this year. We broke ground in October and are happy to have it underway, and this is helping them. Well, great. You know, this is what what year? This is the what the ninth year? Or? It is, yeah, and ninth and year. Very successful tournament. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I hope everybody comes back a winner. Well, they will. There's a Chef's Open the following. The year. Chef Open is a four, and that is open to other people. The golfers are bringing their guests. People that have nothing even to do with um, golf, but just love great food, are coming out, and that will be a great time. Nine competing chefs, and also featured pastry chef. Uh, Jean-Marie from uh, Pachanga, so we're just delighted. All right, well, <laughs> thanks a lot for uh, hosting this, and uh, I hope it's a successful event for you. Me too. Thanks so much, a lot of Thank you. Uh, auction items. Great stuff. Okay. Look at some of these baskets, my goodness. Richard Ross is Allison's dad. He's a great guy. I haven't seen him yet. Are you not shy, are you? <laughs> Look at these golf bags. Wow. Good morning. First, thank you guys for taking the uh, time of your busy days to spend with us. Uh, this is the ninth annual Oak Grove Golf Classic and our fourth annual Chef Open, uh, which we're very happy to have nine executive chefs at the end of this golf tournament to uh, vie for your vote. So we appreciate all of you being here and supporting Oak Grove. I want to introduce Tammy Wilson, the CEO of Oak Grove, uh, to say a few words and then introduce a few people that are very special to us and who have supported us. Uh, through many of these years uh, to make sure that this event is as successful as it is. So, Tammy. Good morning and thank you. I'm so excited that we're here in the beautiful sunshine, the beautiful course, and without rain. Thank you for supporting our kids. It is my great proud privilege to give you a very quick update. As you know, this is a fundraiser for our sports program at Oak Road. But also this year, we have, we're building a gym. And um, we broke ground in October. Our, our goal was to have it built by April. What I want to tell you, though, is that it's because of Tatanga's generosity that the sports court that was just going to be like, you know, cement actually turned into a gym. In 2009, we were the recipient of their um, charity tournament, and that is what started the gym fund. In your program, there's a picture of us getting that um, very, very wonderful check a couple of years ago. So it's amazing that it has come as far as it has in such a short time. So it is with my extreme privilege and honor to introduce Mr. Joaquin Fletcher with the Chinese Development Corporation. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am a tribal member here at the Chinese. Um, the tribe, we've always been in this valley since time and memorial. In fact, recently, I'm not sure if you're aware about the quarry and it's right near the place where it's from, uh, the place that we've been in where we were here. And, but we've always been here in the valley. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Fletcher. Now I want to introduce two very special women, and they are going to help lead us in the national anthem. You remember them if you've um, golfed with us before. It is um, Gwen Sanborn, executive producer of Chemeco Alive, along with Sandy Forget. And the, I'm going to say the artist formerly known as Sandy Capel. I had the privilege of being at her wedding on Saturday, and what an event. So, Sandy and Gwen, come on up, and um, let's give them our attention. We hope you can come out for Temecula Live, which is January 27th and 28th. It's going to be great this year. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight? 
Here they come. Just hope I don't get hit. <laughs> morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Old Grove. Old Grove. Good morning. Changa, and I think we have the uh, SoCal Chefs open and I'm here with a young lady. Who are you? My name is Barb Langdon. I'm a trustee at the Oak Grove Center. And what's going on here tonight, Barbara? I think something big. It is. It's our fabulous fourth annual Chef Open. We have uh, nine different chefs competing from our region, uh, bringing just fabulous, beautiful food. Um, and we have 360 guests who are coming to wow. sample that food. Wow, well, this, I'm sure they'll be very happy to be here tonight, that's for sure. Yes, it's a great event, uh, benefiting a wonderful facility to help mm -hmm. students. All right, great. And uh, it's kind of a contest, right, isn't it? Uh, yes, it's actually a uh, People's Choice Award. It truly is. There are uh, boxes on each one of the chef stations, and our guests go around and drop tickets in based on uh, the presentation, the interpretation of the food being served, and, of course, the flavor of the food. And at the end of the evening, we tally up those tickets, and the chef with the most votes is our People's Choice Award for 2011. Well, great, and I know there's going to be some great press coverage for these guys out here tonight, so um, I'm sure they're looking forward to doing the best they can. Yes, they're very excited. Uh, they said they have their, their, their game on. They have a friendly uh, throwdown of the gauntlet amongst themselves. <laughs> they're all telling each other they're going to be the one to win tonight the People's Choice Award. Um, it's just turned out to be a great event. I actually had other chefs asking to come in, but we were we were full. We had our, our list of chefs, and uh, we were ready to go. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to having a great gourmand experience, and uh, we'll see you a little later. All right. Thank you so much. Right, thank you. Lobster cheesy mac. Lobster cheesy mac. It's absolutely delicious. Twist on a on a comfort food favorite. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys serving here? We have Creole cheesy grits and a beef and red gravy with a not cooperating. A little chilly. Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> 
Our media sponsors for this evening are Business Magazine. Looks like you've got a pretty good uh, thing going here. Oh, it's wonderful. What's it called? Uh, oh, that's, that's lobster mac. cheesy. I had that. I'll have to get my ballot. It's quite a crowd here. We have Lynn Effinger. He's our MC oh, tonight. Oh yeah, that's me. That's, how are you doing, Lynn? I'm doing great. Thanks for volunteering to do this tonight. I, you know me. And I'm, give me near a microphone. I'm all over. <laughs> well, I hope, you, hope you're having a good time. I get, am. Be sure you get something to eat, okay? Oh, I will. <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I wouldn't eat? Okay, thanks. All right, thanks. <laughs> okay, here's your sugar rush. <laughs> look at these. Unbelievable. Where did you get... What did you get? Strawberries this big this time of year? I didn't know they were. That's a new one. Thank you. 